Hello, uh, this video is to supplement the ProjectWise Coffee Corner session um, integrating ProjectWise DI and ProjectWise Drive looking at for a DOT as a use case. Um, and just as a reminder, you can uh, get your phone out, use the QR code that will give you a link to the uh, data set and documentation. Uh, for the uh, dynamic work managed workspace that we're using with us and uh, where we I had some issues with my uh, project wise and project wise drive just uh, general internet connections last week so um, uh, creating this supplement so um, as we discussed there were um, kind of a few problematic utilities within the F dot workspace, specifically QC inspector, create file and link data manager that relied on a Windows path to um, be able to uh, determine context and, and create the files. So we'll look at that. Uh, these three things this week, as well as look at the, uh, the, the sign tools. So um, let's look here at ProjectWise. So here's our ProjectWise environment. Uh, we have an F dot project. Here we have the F dot workspace uh, located here. Uh, we have a couple of ProjectWise drive connections. So I'll show you those here. I'll bring that over to this session. And here's my ProjectWise drive. We have our two F dot workspaces connections here. The, this shows the connection to the uh, civil organization. We'll see the um, F dot workspace loading here. And then I have a connection to the, uh, the project here. And these directly represent what's in project wise in these two locations. So to save just a little bit of time, I've gone ahead and opened this file uh, in the F dot workspace, and I've opened that in um, Open Roads Designer 10.9. So we'll see that here. So we're going to do a quick little QC inspector. Look at that first here real quick. So if I'll click on that. This will come up in my other window and I'll drag it over. We'll see that that's now working. Anybody familiar with the F dot workspace knows that that just simply uh, did not work in a project wise environment. So that does work, represents this particular path here. We have our functions to fix levels, um, et cetera with that. Okay. Um, we have link data manager. Let's look at that real quick. Let's see that that works. Now, one thing you'll need to note here with this is that when we look for the source path, we're going to need to utilize our ProjectWise Drive instance rather than the um, DMS folder. So we'll go here to our location. This represents the actual uh, Windows location on your local computer. I've actually kind of used my V drive here for my project wise drive location. We'll go in here, go to the project. I'm going to go to the landscape folder and note that there's a summary of landscape uh, items. I open that up. And so I can actually just kind of then uh, do what I need to. So I'll select a worksheet. We'll do plant schedule. Click OK. and give that a chance to open up and then we can just kind of place that the file we didn't give that a width or anything so but this does show us the data that's in that that file um, we can also create files so it would be a similar mechanism for creating a file within there um, if i go into look in landscape I did this earlier at the flood conference, and this is the, the file when we did the, the save as that, uh, that that actually worked there. You can see that date 
uh, was actually during my uh, flood session. Okay, so that's Link Data Manager. So one thing you will want to uh, pay attention to here is because this is a uh, project by or is a Windows link. Uh, you will want to make sure that your project wise drive locations are consistent on your local computers so that your your uh, Windows linking works with that. Uh, we'll come back to the create file tool, uh, but I did just want to kind of look at the uh, the f.science tool. And a couple of things we'll note there. So if we look at the user settings, we want to make sure that in this, that your your folders also point to the project-wise drive uh, locations here so that it can uh, properly find the files. So with the create file tool, we'll go in here. We've got um, the structures discipline selected here. We'll use uh, just um, what the default settings. We'll add a, a boring here, say 21. Note, um, this has an action that needs to occur in this. And this is kind of the reason we haven't just said here, create file and, and uh, we need to go ahead and open this file so that it can run uh, this key in action. Um, and as a result, what this will do is actually uh, we want to we want to make sure that we use this active workspace and work set because this is now opening the file in the project wise drive location, not the um, project wise DI location or project wise the, in your DMS folder, and um, that's so that it can actually run these. So I'll free that. And you'll notice that the path here now changed to the uh, the project wise drive location. Let me close my sign assemblies. So what you'll want to do here is you'll want to actually uh, close this file and reopen it in Project Wise Explorer to get back into the Project Wise Design Integration. So a slight little little um, hiccup in, in that portion, but at least you got the capability to use this in the project wise uh, environment. So uh, thanks to Florida DOT for working with us to at least help us get to, to this point. But let me just kind of show you a couple of things here with the configuration variables. Let's look at um, some of those variables that we set earlier the f.file variable and how that resolves versus the dgn file variable uh, that comes up over in my other screen so i'll bring that over and we're just going to look at some of the um, f. variables so we see f.file see how we have that pointing to this project location this being the root of the project uh, this being the path between there. So um, that's kind of how I was, or, or this will be the key to being able to get this variable established uh, within the dynamic workspace and the workspace materials I've provided. Uh, I show how I use my um, uh, find name and path CFG file to do that. You're You're welcome to um, utilize your own configurations to uh, make this this substitution path, but this is this is um, essential to getting this to work. So this equates to um, so if we do DGN file, we'll note that DGN file um, uh, points to well in this case because the uh, the file is actually open locally on the machine. This points to DGN file as well. Whereas if I'd opened this previously, DGN file would have been pointing to the, to the project wise path. All right. So uh, that's it for the demonstration. Uh, hope this was helpful. 
and uh, appreciate leaving any comments in the um, in the sections or uh, on the wiki link uh, if you have any, any questions there. Uh, that concludes this uh, demonstration.